standard keys. The arrow keys allow you to adjust the volume on the handset, the headset or on the speaker. If your handset is on the hook, these also allow you to adjust the volume of the ringing, as shown. The speaker key can be pressed if you would like to answer a call without using the handset. To mute your voice on a call, you should press the mute key. When activated, the light will glow orange and the caller will no longer be able to hear you, but you will still be able to hear them. To deactivate mute, press the mute key again. The cancel key should be used if you would like to end a call and don't want to or can't do so by putting the handset down. The redial key will ring the last number that you called. This number is shown at the top of your screen for reference. If you would like to put a caller on hold, then the hold key should be pressed. To remove the caller from hold, you simply press the key again. Please note that a call which has been on hold for 30 seconds will start ringing on your handset as a reminder that the call is still there. If you've answered a call and wish to transfer it to another person, then you have two options. Press the transfer button, enter the number to forward the call to, and then hang up to blind transfer or stay on the line to introduce the caller. If you would like to cancel the transfer and bring the call back to yourself, press the cancel key. If you have a voicemail, the light on top of your handset will flash orange. To retrieve voicemails, press the voicemail key. Press read message and press call. Welcome. Please enter your passcode. Enter your voicemail passcode to enter the mailbox and follow the instructions to retrieve your messages. You have one new message. Press 7 to play the first message, 6 to make a new message, 8 to change user options. 9 to exit the system, 0 to return to the operator. Alternatively, a shortcut is to dial 6000 from your handset and then enter your passcode to access your voicemail.